Hello there and welcome. My name is Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts. Thank you for joining me again on my channel. Okay, so we are back for part three. So, so far we have made our cover. We've done the flip out part now that is on the front. The only thing we've got to do is add string here, but we'll do that um, in a moment when we get our other pieces of string out. And then this just slots in the front. Um, and then we've been working on the middle bit. So we folded up our next envelope so it'll look like this and we've got some of our panels ready um we were just about to finish off the last panel here which is a more interactive one so i'll just quickly show you what it is we're working on so when you open it up we've done all of these panels and this one so what we're going to be working on is this bit here so there is a tie closure it flips out so there's a pocket there's a belly band here and then this part oh if i can get it opens up and then you've got a pocket here with a large tag so this is the bit we're going to work on next and then we can start gluing this section in on its hinge and work on the back pocket right Okay, so I have tried to be a little bit more organised this time round. So um, again, this is the template we're working on. So we've, as I've said, already done all of the bits and pieces for all of them. We're just working on this page here. And I've chosen my paper. Uh, I have already cut mine down, but I'm just going to show you what I did. So again, I just measured up to the fold line. Again, I've got a little bit of a border. And then I just went an extra three and a quarter inches out. Um, and all that does is that just gives me about a half an inch gap off of here. Obviously, if your um, measurements are different to mine, you just need to extend it. So you've got roughly half an inch of a gap there. OK, that's all you need to do. Um, I then had a bit of scrap left over from when I was doing um, these two panels, uh, which is a nice strip. And that is going to be my belly band in the middle. OK. So that's that panel and that's that one. So what we've got to do is put a pocket here. So I've just been going through all of my different bits of scraps and cutoffs from all of the other things we're doing. And again, I've still got some of this um, music paper. So I'm thinking of using this as a pocket. Now, that may be a bit tall as a pocket. It may be fine. Let's just have a think. So I'm going to close that and measure it that way. It might be easier. And then trim that down. So if I make a mark there. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that down and then decide whether I want anything off the height. So I'm just going to cut that first and see what we think. Right, okay. So that's my music sheet. And I have cut it so it comes in slightly from the fold. So I don't want it right up against that. And that probably is too much of a deeper pocket. So let's have a look. I might. Yeah, I might move it down and just trim it where it starts to sort of fade out here. So I'm just going to trim that bit off and uh, yeah, then we'll come back to it and have another look. Right. OK, so that looks like a much better pocket. Again, I'm just going to snip out a curve at the top. So just using my circle punch that'll do excellent that's that bit then like I said that is going to be the belly band again I'm going to do sewing I am going to just put a little bit of glue just to hold it in place though and I might do the same for the pocket actually so just put a little bit at the bottom just makes it so much easier when you're sewing obviously if you're not sewing just glue straight down it doesn't matter um, but if you are sewing it, it just makes everything so much easier if it's held in place a little bit. So a little bit at the top. And the bottom. And then roughly in the middle. Okay. Right, so that's my belly band then and we've got a pocket to go there 
Right, there is one more small little pocket that comes on the front. So again, I'm just having a look at some of my um, cut-offs and scraps that I've got. So I've got this one. It just needs to be the same width of this, but obviously then a little bit more because we're going to wrap it round the back. Um, I really want that stamp in there. So I'm obviously just going to have to trim it here a little bit. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go about a half an inch over. So I'm just going to mark where the half inch is just so I know where I'm folding. And it's just to create a hinge. You're not going to see this bit, so it doesn't matter. So that's going to go around the back there. And then this is what we're going to see. So I need to cut it about there. So I'm just going to trim that and then we'll do the pocket. Right, so that's that one trimmed. Now we just need to do the pocket that's on the inside. So again, just having a little look at my scraps. So I've got some more of this postcard one, so I could do a little shallow pocket to go there. Um, I have got this number plate, but that would obviously make it a bit of a deeper pocket. So I think I'm just going to have this one because then obviously it's still the postcard. So I'm just again going to line it up see where I need to cut and just trim that bit off okay so there's the little pocket again I'm just going to put a little notch in the top uh, that's it little notch in the top that's going to be my pocket on that side again I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue down just to hold everything in place ready for me to sew so i'm just going to put it along the bottom doesn't need to be much just a teeny amount this is just to hold it in place like that okay so that is that interactive bit done um we are going to need to Again, put a closure on here, so it is another disc. So let's do that bit now. Okay, so uh, same as before, I've just punched um, a one inch circle using my circle punch and just some of the scraps that I've had. Um, and then you need to kind of think about where you're going to position it. It doesn't really matter because we're going to attach the string to the um, back on my last one I actually hid it inside um, the pocket so it was down here and then the um, back piece was on the pocket inside the pocket so you couldn't see it uh, but that's entirely up to you I might have this one a little bit higher because I don't mind if you see the um, split pin on the back because like I said it's kind of adding um, to the look of the whole thing so I don't mind this and I might have it then a little bit higher um, on my piece so uh, yeah, I think I'm going to place mine about there and then obviously like I said that will slit in there and then I'll just make sure that my string comes from the top and comes out here. Right, so um, I've just glued that so I'm just giving that a second more to dry. Uh, I am going to quickly ink around the edge of this as well before I attach it. Okay, and then as I've done before, I am literally just going to poke in the middle. And you just need to be very gentle. Make sure you mind your fingers as you're doing this. You just need a yeah, big enough hole just for your split pin to go through. Okay, and then once you've decided, still a bit gluey, once you've decided where it's going on here, you need to do the same on here. So like I said, before I hid it inside the pocket, I have got quite a small pocket now. So um, I am going to have it a little bit further up. So I think I'll have it about there. So I'm just going to make a pencil mark. This one's a little bit sharper. And that's where my hole is. So, sorry, I know you can't see that very well on camera, but I can see where that is on here. So again, just going to take my pokey tool 
and pierce a hole. And then I'm just going to get a split pin. Okay, so I'm just going to get a split pin, pop it through both the holes again, spread out. Like I said, I do not mind that you can see that on the inside because, like I said, it kind of adds to the grunge of um, uh, my folio. But yeah, so that's how it's going to look. Right, so now um, the next step I think is going to be to sew everything, uh, and that includes all of these panels. And then we can start gluing things together and then we'll get the string out, do those. Um, oh, we've got to do the circles on these ones as well, I forgot about that. So same principle, that's going to go on here as well, but I'll do that off camera. Um, you don't need to see, you know how to do that now. So yeah, I'm just going to make two of these to go on here. Um, and then, yeah, we'll sort out the strings and things when we start gluing them down and for the one on the front cover that we've done. Right, so I'm going to whiz off to the sewing machine. I'll be back. Okay, so everything has been sewn. I've added um, my discs at the top and bottom of these. So now it's just about assembling this. So um, what we're going to do is just glue inside here again, just kind of stick those two bits down. So obviously I don't need to go too much in the middle. So I'm just going to go um, around the edge just to make sure that that's stuck down and isn't going to flap open. So just along the edge, do a little bit on the inside, like I said I'm not too fussed because it's all about to get covered, just need to make sure that obviously it stays closed. So that's that glued, okay so just check you haven't missed any spots. Right, now for assembly. So I think we'll start with the pocket. So that's this bit here. So obviously for this one, um, you may want to put something behind. I'm not, only because obviously it's a brown anyway, so it kind of goes with my theme, but obviously you could put something behind here if you wanted. So I'm gonna glue mine in a U shape. But I'm just going to glue this side first just to kind of keep this from stop folding and flapping. So I'm just going to pull that bit off, glue this one. And this isn't a pocket this side, this is just a solid piece. You can make it a pocket if you like, but I'm going to glue the whole thing down. You can of course make as many pockets as you like on this. This is just a standalone piece and I think it's nice because it just adds that bit of secureness and stability on the back of your pocket on the other side. So, uh, oh. Just make sure it's in place, we're still on the crease. Let me just smooth that out. Okay, and then for the pocket, how do I want to do this? See, last time I had a top loading pocket. I'm just trying to think, do I want a side loading pocket? No, I think I'll keep it to original. So I'm going to have um, a top loading pocket. So I'm going to glue along these three edges only. We are going to have to add um, our string to this bit. So decide where you're going to have your um, pocket. I think last time I had it in the middle, I might move it a little bit lower down this time. I might move it about there. So this is in the middle, but the whole pocket isn't. So it doesn't matter if it's a little bit off kilter. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is glue this bit down. So make sure that that's stuck in place. I'm just going to hold it for a second because while this 
beacon glue does have a good grab sometimes it does kind of start to come away a little bit okay. just to make sure it is secure I mean obviously like I say when it dries it will be nice and stuck but just while we're kind of doing this I am going to put some masking tape on it as well just to really reinforce it nobody's going to see the back so it doesn't matter right okay then you're going to want some string or whatever it is that you're going to use to wrap around oh my goodness where's the end there it is all right so you need it to be able to obviously wrap around your disc however many times you want it and then it's got to come around and on the back here and then wherever far that is then you just make a snip and then to secure this, I'm just going to use masking tape again. Okay, so that's where I need it. And I'm just going to use some masking tape to hold it in place. Okay, so just double checking. Obviously, it's going to be glued down in a moment, so that will also make it secure. But I'm just want to obviously make sure that that string isn't going to go anywhere. Okay, so now that you've done that, this whole panel can now be glued down. So obviously, that's the string that holds everything closed and in place, and just wraps around your disc. So you can obviously wrap it a couple of times if you want to. Okay, so just going to glue that bit down then. Okay, so that's another piece done. Okay, right now for the back. So the back we're going to do in two parts so we're going to do this flap first because this is where the hinge is going to go so we want to do the hinge first before we glue the panel on so um, so this is obviously going to be our hinge and that's going to go on there like that so we'll glue that panel on once we've kind of glued the hinge in its place. OK, so we'll leave that back panel for a minute and we'll do this one. So this one is the pocket. So that bit gets glued down there. And then I'm going to glue three sides here and then that's the pocket. Okay, so there we have our next panel done. So we've got our side pocket. We've got the interactive bit there. We've got the bit here with the string. So we might as well do that bit now. So all I did for this was wrap around a little bit and figure out how much I need just by wrapping. So put that one around there. Came back down. Oops. Right, so wrap that one. You were meant to hang on. That will do, and then we'll make a snip. Okay, so that's that one done. So we've got that, that, and then. We're going to hinge that now so grabbing your main cover obviously we've got the string to do here so while we've got the string out we're going to do that so again just going to wrap around the bottom might be easier if i take this out actually
just wrapped around the bottom, up to the top, wrapped around the top, came back to the bottom. I mean, obviously, however many times you wound round is entirely up to you. And then I just snip. Okay, so that's that one closed. Yeah, so that's the front that slides in. We'll just move that out of the way for the moment because we want to obviously get this hinge done. Right, so now to attach this then to the cover. So obviously this is our hinge. So um, I was just doing it wrong a minute ago. I was thinking it goes that way, but it doesn't. It goes this way. So that bit's pretty much dry now. Um, what we're going to do is just glue that onto there so that it hinges out that way. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is literally just butt those up against one another. I'm going to put some glue on here. And then I'm just going to lay this on top, obviously making sure that I'm lining up with the edge of the cover, obviously making sure that it's level top and bottom as well. And then that's going to hinge out that way. Okay. Now it will move with the beacon until it's dry. So you do need to make sure that you've got it in place and then just give it a minute to dry. So I'm just going to leave that for a second. And then obviously this last panel that we have is what's going to be stuck on there to cover that. Um, and then the last thing we need to do, sorry, that way up, is then do the part for here, which I did the laminated pocket, so it looked like a floating pocket. So that's what we're going to have a look at next. Right, okay, so now that this has had a minute to dry, what we're going to do is, this is obviously going to get stuck on there like that, um, but what we need is a back panel for here, and then I did a laminated pocket over the top, which I'm going to do again. Um, I'm just trying to think what I want kind of floating in the middle. Um, I also want to try and cover up this book page um, a little bit. So I think I'm either just going to make this panel a little bit wider so that that one kind of gets stuck on there. Or I may just go over with some tape. I think I'll go over with some tape. And let's just cut that a little bit straighter. Because I can always ink this up as well. It's just to get rid of that text a little bit. I don't mind the envelope showing, but that text. Just doesn't go. So I'm just going to put a little bit of masking tape over there. always ink that up as well just to kind of give it a bit more distressed look I mean I know you can still see the text but I think once that's inked it's not so obvious when that's then stuck down so I'm going to use this page I think then as a back panel and then for my floating bits I'm going to cut out these tickets and then they're going to be um, laminated so um, I was thinking of using my number plate but I was a bit silly and I cut my holes out of that which was a little bit annoying but never mind um so yeah I'm going to use this panel for the back then I'm going to cut those out and laminate so I'm going to do that very quickly now and then I will show you um what I've done right okay so let me show you what I've done then so obviously this is um the back panel as we know that will go on there so all I've done is I've measured out my piece that's going to go here so obviously I can go right up to where the hinge is for our spine and then I have just um, torn around those tickets and I've laminated them and then all I'm going to do now is kind of line that up on here I'm going to trim around and um and then do some sewing so i'm going to sew around the edge of this pocket um and then that's that one done um what i've also kind of prepared is because we can't stick this down until we've done um 
the inside of the spine. Now this step is completely optional. If you're going to sew in a journal, then all you need to do is choose a piece of paper that you are going to cover. So I've chosen this piece. However, I am doing a hidden spine. So I've just got some of the um, shirt that I used um, on the spine. And I'm using that as a tie. So I've just put two eyelets in, um, fed it through, just secured it slightly um, on the back just to give it a bit more um, stability. And then I'm going to sew around this as well because this needs to be stuck down before obviously we can put this in. So that's why I'm going to sew around this one as well and then um, sew around this with the pocket on. So I'm going to literally just sew the pocket straight on. Um, yeah, but I am going to obviously, like I say, do a little bit of trimming because obviously it's way too big for the pocket at the moment. Um, but yeah, you are also going to need to prepare this because we need to put this down first. So like I said, if you're going to sew your signatures in, you just need to, um, I've done it so it's the same width as the material that's coming over. So um, as you can see, it fits nicely. Um, and then that's going to go on there. If you're going to sew your signatures in, that's all you need to do. If you're going to do a hidden spine like me, then you need to um, choose your binding uh, punch two holes you don't have to use eyelets if you don't want to um, and then obviously just feed it through like I said I've just used a bit of glue and things just to kind of hold it in place um, and then that will get stuck in and then you can use that as your binding for whatever journal you choose to put in later on okay so I'm just going to whiz off to the sewing machine then sew around that trim and sew my pocket and then we'll come back and then that's the whole of the front section done and we can start um on the last piece right okay so that's those bits sewn so here is the pocket i don't know if i've got something slim enough to kind of show you but yeah something can go behind there and then the um tickets then look like they're floating so that's the pocket um, and that's going to go on the back there we've got the middle bit sewn and then that's going to go on there so I think what we'll start with is I'm just literally going to run some ink along here. It doesn't matter if it's not too distressed, as I said, it's just to kind of give it a little bit of a cover up. Um, you're not really going to see too much of this anyway. Okay, so that'll do. Let's glue this one in first. So making sure that it is one the right way up. Um, just going to tie these together for a second. Okay, so that's going to go in the middle there. Then obviously that pocket is going to get stuck over the top. So let's just get the glue and start getting that stuck down. Right, okay, so that is that side done. So all of this flips out and flips out that way. And then obviously you've got your pocket then at the back. So that is the whole of the front section now complete. Okay, so I'm just gonna release this because that should now be dry. And I'm gonna put these on here to hold that part. Just where it's a little bit thicker. I want to make sure that that does it. Right, so now to work on the back section. So I'm just going to again encourage this fold here down where my spine is. OK, 
Okay. Right, so now that we've done that, we're going to have a look at this back section. So you are going to need your smaller envelope. Okay, so as I said, you're going to need a smaller envelope. So as you can see, again, this is too tall for our photo, but that's fine because we're going to cut it down again. Um, so what I did is I kind of went in the middle. So rather than having an arch and an arch and trying to match it up, um, I just kind of went to the middle and then where the arch kind of finishes at the point here, I just trimmed off that bit and did the same at the bottom. So I'm going to do the same again. Okay, so all I've done is trimmed off the two sides. So it now opens up fully like that. And as you can see, it's just now a touch smaller on either side than um, the cover, which is absolutely fine. Okay, now obviously, if you bear in mind, that's the crease. You can see it's too tall, but that's fine because the bottom part is, part is going to be our hinge. So if you move it down and then fold roughly just within where your crease is for the fold for the spine. So just fold it in slightly. That's it. And then this is going to then be um, your hinge. Okay, so once you've done that, you turn it over and just fold it the other way. And then this bit, later on, once we've covered it, is going to be glued on the edge here, so that then folds out. So you just want to double check that when you fold it in, that that fits. Um, see, I think mine's probably a bit too close, so I'm just going to fold this in a tiny bit more. Because obviously you don't want it rubbing up onto that inner edge so I am going to fold mine in a little bit more and then again just test that so if that's hinged on the edge there I've now got oh, I've now got a bit of a gap between the edge of my envelope and um, where the spine is okay so we're going to start then with decorating uh, this and then We'll probably have to do the last few bits, isn't very much in the final video. So let's get to decorating this. So I use just one piece of paper. So again, just decide a sheet that you want. So I'm just trying to think what I had on this side. So I've got number plates. So I think um, I might use the postcards again because I do like these postcards. Yeah, so I think I'm going to use the postcards again for this envelope. So all I did, um, now I know really an envelope should go that way and open up, but because it is sideways um, in our folio, I have kept my paper this way round. And hopefully, oh, it's going to be just short. That's a bit of a shame. See, last time I wasn't, using a PDF I was using um, a JPEG so it prints borderless so obviously ignoring the folds because that's your hinge I could do the whole strip which means I'm going to have a little bit then um, which won't be covered that's fine we'll work around that we'll figure out what we're going to do so all I'm going to do is just trim this so that it's obviously the right size and then I am going to then start cutting it up so what I want to cover is all of this including the lip and this back panel here okay so they're the bits I want to cover so just this panel here so ignore this because this is a hinge you just want to be able to cover this panel here and then this whole section including the flap so I'm just going to trim this down and then start working out how I'm going to do it Right, okay, so I've cut my pieces down, so this one fits nicely on the back and will obviously be my flap as well. And then on this side, I mean, we're literally talking a slither. 
um, if that goes on the edge there it's literally this teeny little bit here so I've got this little bit of scrap that's from um, one of the other sheets another cut off so I'm literally just going to glue that and then that will just overlap slightly and go on there just to kind of fill up that gap I mean because it's collaged it kind of blends in anyway so um, that's absolutely fine so. okay so what I'm going to do is I am going to just lightly glue these on just to again hold them in place and this time I'm going to sew around like onto the envelope so on this one I didn't sew onto the envelope I just sewed them and then stuck them on but this one I can sew on the envelope um, because it's separate so I'm just going to go and do that now and then I'll be back and we'll hinge this on okay so here is the sewn envelope so it's not obviously all stuck together yet I've just sort of sewn around the edges so I've got around the edge there I did put a little piece there where obviously you had the um sort of self seal glue strip and then obviously all that goes around there and then um this middle piece here is obviously going to be the hinge so that will come on the end here uh, but we have got something that we want to attach um here first before we seal everything up but yeah the last few bits we're going to do in the final video but i think we're going to yeah leave it there for this one so again i really hope that you are enjoying this tutorial we are nearly at the end one more video to go we've only got a few more bits to finish here and this envelope and we are done with the folio so yeah very exciting the end is in sight thank you very much I'll see you in the next video.